Hi everyone. I can barely smile right now. I'm sick. It's the third vlog, November 3rd, and uh, Sunday, and I have the day off, and I'm just kind of taking care of myself. And one of the things I like to do when I'm feeling a little bit under the weather is do a little self-care, like, you know, light some candles and <laughs> take a bath and do a clay mask. So here I am. I thought I would take you around and do some other things as well. So enjoy. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is, um, in, well, questions, I should say, are in regards to my penmanship and uh, where did I learn and how do I practice and so on and so forth. Um, so basically, I learned cursive in elementary school. It just really stuck with me. I liked it a lot. I remember in elementary and middle school experimenting a lot with my penmanship, always trying to find my style, I suppose. And I actually spent a good deal of time doing that. I think the biggest impact on my penmanship, other than just the sheer fact that I've been writing in cursive since I, the day I learned it, um, would be fountain pens, honestly. <laughs> my, my cursive uh, really transformed when I started using um, fountain pens a couple years ago. My very first fountain pen was a Muji aluminum body fountain pen with black cartridges. And that was what I used every day to, to journal in for a couple of years. And then I started branching out. But it was really the fountain pens that kind of refined my cursive. And there hasn't really been like any active practicing necessarily. I know some people, when they practice their penmanship, they will write the same letters over and over and over again, and then they'll circle the ones that they don't like, and then they'll work on it and alter it from there. I just write in my journal, and sometimes I write absolutely nonsense, nonsensical things, and sometimes I write all of my thoughts out, and sometimes I write stories, but I, I journal all the time, and I'm always writing in cursive. Sometimes I use print, very rarely. I just... I'll write in prints, print to be fancy. I'll use like a special font, um, but that's on a rare occasion. Personally, I think I find print to be a bit tedious. Uh, it's slow and I, like if I were to just write regularly in print, it would look very sloppy. I don't have good print unless if I do something like this where I'm actually like slowly executing every single uh, letter. Of course, if I just write in all capitals, I can do that pretty quickly. But yeah, cursive is easiest for me and it always has been. I did a bunch of plant maintenance today. I trimmed up these two hanging plants and I have yet to sweep up the mess. Uh, so right now, it's just going to hang out there. I'm going to show you some early journals just to give you a sense of how my penmanship has transformed. So this is probably the earliest one that I have. This is from 2001. It's really difficult to find things that aren't, that don't feel too personal. So here's just some random stuff. This is from 2001. I think I was a freshman in high school. 
This one is a little bit later. This is from 2003, so this would have been either junior or senior year of high school. And then this is when I started using a fountain pen. This is my Muji fountain pen. I think it's time to get this face mask off. It's starting to, to like crack and chip off and I feel like I'm shedding skin right now. Just to sum it all up, I think that fountain pens have made a huge impact on my writing uh, and also just because they become an extension of your hand and they're so easy to write with. Once you get the hang of them, the amount of pressure or the, the lack thereof rather that is required to actually put a line on a piece of paper is so much less than a ballpoint or a pencil. And so it just makes for this like really fluid and tension-free writing experience. Ever since I was a little kid, I cared about the, the materials, the tools that I was using to write with. I had like particular pens that I really liked working with, but I, it didn't really transform, like I said, until I started getting into fountain pens. All right, time to wash my face and clean up that pile of plant matter behind me. Thank you all for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Bye.